What's up guys, and following from yesterday's video about the recall for the 12 volt battery, we're now going to show you how to replace the battery on the Hyundai Kona. Very simple, two 10 mils just here and a 12 mil just there. But for safe measure, we are going to disconnect the high voltage interlock anyway, which just unclips. I'm just going to pop that to one side. So what we're going to do now is just get our 10 mil and then do these two clamps. Now we've got our Medtronics connected to the battery. As this is the specific one we are supposed to use. We'll just do a quick little test for a printout. So we're going to select diagnostic, in vehicle, regular. We've got EN or SAE, so we're going to go for EN. completely lost it now, my bad, there we go, so now we've got 410 volt cranking amps, and ampage we can input on this one, so we've got 45 amps, next, now it's just going to go through the tests, so we'll come back once it's finished, so you look at the difference between this, so say you have 97, state of charge 100%, Good and pass. If we look at the Medtronics, we'll place battery. So that took about five minutes. So we're going to print that and we're going to get it submitted for a new battery. Shouldn't need anything more than a quarter drive wreck chip. We're just going to go ahead and then do those. So this is the top one. And then the earth cable. And we're just going to pull them off. Just like that. Tucking them out of the way so they don't get in the way when we put the new battery in place. And we're just going to get our 12 now. So, free for x shit. The long extension always does the job. And we're just going to go down in there and crack off that battery clamp. Take it all the way out. Once you've got your clamp off and the two terminals, very simply lift your battery out. Got a new battery here, genuine Hyundai one. We're just going to pop it in the vehicle, ensuring the battery is the right way around. So we've got the positive with the positive, the negative with the negative. Just here we have a little lip. So what we're going to do is place the battery in and then slide it under that lip. Just like that, because it locks into the back, which sits along here, and then our clamp sits along this side and puts it all on. So let's get that clamp on. Get it nice and tight. And moving on to our leads, we always put the positive on first. Make sure it's pushed nicely down over that. And then same again with the negative. Push it nicely down. Then once again, just get your terminals all tightened down. Just like that. And put your cover back over. What we do with the old battery because it's going in storage. Use the old covers so it doesn't cause any electrical fires. Now we've done that, we're going to put our tools away. We're going to top up the CV coolant because it is a bit low. And then we're going to test the system. So run the vehicle, cut on the brake, press the start button into ready mode. Always happens when you're working on corners. The charging door is so sensitive. You lean against it, it pops open. That is it guys, that's how you change a battery on a high-end icona. Hope this video is helpful and we'll catch you in the next one.